Christianity without Christ can last for a while, but it will inevitably crumble. We are experiencing a sweeping de-Christianization of the Western world. We are living through an age where God is largely forgotten, marginalized, rejected, and very often even ridiculed. Where we can make our own rules, our own morality, unshackled of the transcendent or the divine. Where the Judeo-Christian values upon which our societies have been built over the course of millennia are being eroded before our very eyes. So, a Christian who actually thinks Christianly is an endangered species. In other words, in times of growing cultural hostility against Christianity and mounting fragility at all fronts, it is extremely rare to find Christians who think, write, act, and speak with a truly Christian mind. And this is precisely what Axioma sets out to be, a Christian think tank. And as such, your most precious contribution to the public debate, to the policies, the laws, and the institutions of your country will be to know what the qualifier Christian means and to articulate the uniquely coherent and liberating perspective on the world that Christianity offers, as opposed to every other worldview arrayed against it. We see chaos in every direction. From war in Ukraine to the unfolding war in the Middle East, we are living in increasingly fragile times. Every great civilization has an inspiration, a dynamism. But there comes a point where the civilization loses touch with what made it great. And at that moment, there are only three broad options. You can renew the inspiration, you can replace the inspiration, or decline. So whether we refer to this moment in history as an inflection point, a civilizational moment, or an uncertain gray zone, if these thinkers are correct, and I think they are, we are clearly living through a time of great transition what is the role of a Christian think tank in this gray zone, in this critical civilizational moment? What happens if the salt loses its saltiness? That is to say, what happens if we lose our Christian distinctiveness? Jesus says it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. At an organizational level, we have seen this play out with Christian universities, Christian charities, and yes, also with Christian think tanks over the past century and beyond, with many now parroting the mainstream narratives on any given moral issue and no longer acting as the salt they were once called to be. As you launch today, let me challenge you to bear in mind to look at the many Christian think tanks that have gone before you and have lost their saltiness and ensure this does not happen to you. Our job is not to whine about the darkness, but to act as the light in the darkness of what it takes to shape and transform culture. The right ideas alone won't change culture. It's people who have the right ideas and create the right circumstances for them to take root and shape culture. Culture is not shaped by convictions, values, and ideas alone, and according to Hunter, not even primarily by them, interestingly. Rather, the key to cultural transformation is the mutual influence of ideas, people, and institutions. Culture is not changed by the majority, but neither is it changed by some individuals who are operating in isolated ways. Rather, it is changed by networks of indi individuals who hold the right ideas and by the institutions created by those networks. A think tank should not be an ivory tower, but rather a powerhouse for cultural transformation. As Christians, we can never respond to hostility, to difficulty, even to chaos by turning inwards, by focusing only on our needs, our career, our money, our family. The power of our Christian faith just does not sit well with a merely bourgeois, self-centered life. It's even incompatible. What the post-Christian, post-modern West 
urgently needs is exactly this, Christians with a Christian mind.